Hey y'all, out here at uh, Steve Holcomb's Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and uh, I showed up at the right time today. He's working on a 61 vet for uh, Bobby Alloway, and he's custom building the seats. And uh, I just wanted to shoot a short video and just show you what he goes through to actually make these seats for these cars. Steve, how are you, brother? Pretty good, Scotty. How you doing? I'm doing good. Tell me, uh, I was telling him this is this is the seats for the 61. It is. And you're not going to just take uh, a seat and try to stuff it and cuff it and make it go in there you're actually doing a bunch of welding tell me what you're doing there yeah we're custom making this thing this is a just a set of seat frames that you can buy right you know sort of like a universal style okay. so we're taking this this see this is what it looked like when it come out of the box right you know and we are transforming it to where it looks like a factory 61 seat we had to cut it around for the convertible top lean it back so to lay back just like the a factory one does Lengthened it and we cut it all apart, lengthened it about three and a half inches. And, uh, you know, just getting everything lined up where it'll right. actually fit just like a factory seat fit. But a factory seat was so much bigger and puffier. Right. You didn't have any room to actually sit in the car and push you up to the steering wheel. Right, right. So we're making this one where you have a little bit more room. It'll set you back into the car a little bit as wow. far as you can get back. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, you, you see the yeah, transformation no, no, goes yeah. from a big straight back seat to one that's more curved and laid back. Now, yeah, and this is going to be a silly question, but I'm known for that. Will you actually see this much fold when you get the seat done, or will it just kind of be gradual? It'll be gradual. This right here actually just contours to the car itself. Okay. And then once we get the roll on it, you know, the the leather and everything, it'll just roll right in. It'll look like it was not much. But it they had a, they leaned back pretty good bit in '61. Huh. Anyway. Wow. That's a lot of work. And then what will you do? I mean, we come put springs back in it, or? No, will we'll, we'll build a platform in here, make it low, mm -hmm. and then foam it up, and give the give the foam the contour that we're looking for, and then the plates will roll all the way over. It'll actually have the more of a contoured seat. The original had just a big old bubble to come out, and right. no, no real contour. Right. So we're going to make it look. Like a factory, but more modern. They'll have a little bit of bolster come out and then more of a sunk back, okay. sunk in bottom. I got what you're saying now. But awesome. when you look at it, look, is that factory? You know, right, right. Like, oh, a little different. Right. Well, awesome. Like I said, I wanted to show everybody how, how far you actually go to make custom seats. It's not because I was telling them, when you see on TV, those guys just put seat covers on yeah. and they, they call that a custom seat. Maybe they trim some foam, this, this and that. Right. <laughs> but you're doing actually welding and everything. Oh, yeah. We have to do all the welding, cutting, fitting. You know, man. more like what a, a body man would do, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fabricator. Right. So and then is it important to get this this stuff all smooth up under that, or do you put some kind of padding or something over it to yeah, kind once, of... once we get done, this will have a whole plastic back on it that will okay. fit exact to the car. All right. And then when when you see it, it you won't see any of the frame. And of course, I'm going to paint all the frame, paint it black and everything, so it'll all... You know, be rust resistant and all that stuff. I got you, I got you. So be you, nice and clean. It'll look like a brand new frame. Right. Even then though, you won't see the frame anyway. Exactly. So. I was going to say, even though nobody will ever see it, you're still taking the time to make sure right. it's done yeah, right. Yeah, we'll make sure it's all painted up and looks good and everything. Well, this, I guess there's no need for the seats to recline or anything like that. No, these no. right here, they just, on these particular cars, right. no, there's no sense in reclining. It just needs to move up and back a couple of inches. Okay. There's no, not much room anyway to do do much the way the, the car is made. Yeah, you're right. You don't have much room to go either, right? I mean, it's like, what, three foot in there or something, and yeah. that's it. You move two or three inches, yeah. you, you get a, it makes a big difference. But we're about to get the car done. It looks like it'll probably be Monday or Tuesday we'll have it all finished up. Okay. It's uh, it's looking pretty good. All the trunk's done, all underneath the dash, door panels. The convertible top's actually sewed up, ready to put on, but I want to get the back part fabricated and everything finished up first. It's right. almost ready to go. Then once that's done, I'll put the top on it, and we won't actually fold the top down until it gets ready to, after a few shows and stuff, or it'll photo be, shoot It'll be up, for, yeah, for a while. But it will be work, a workable convertible top. Will it be power or will it be manual? No, it's all, all of them are manual, yeah. minimal cars. Okay. Not much room for any power on those things. All right. Well, brother, like I said, it was just a good opportunity to actually see these seats broke down and what you would go through to make a custom seat. Because, like I said, I, I, if you watch on TV, you'd never, I, you would never think you're doing all this. Yeah, but, when you when you yeah exactly when you see the car, I mean you you got it on video right. what it looks like before, and then you go after you don't see all of the in between. That's right, exactly right. And and the the two things that have always I've always wanted to be able to to talk to you about and video, videotape is how you make the seats, and also I want to catch Tim when he's making a console because I think that would impress people too. That's I mean that's oh, uh, yeah. you know yeah we'll have to do that one get it. This one obviously has got yeah. the all factory stuff on it, but 
Well, we will be doing a bunch of them with consoles and stuff, man. We've got 255s we're fixing to start on. They're wanting to go as wild as you can go with it. So. Cool. We'll be... There'll be some good upcoming shots on some wild looking interiors here before long. Well, there you go, folks. A promise from Mr. Holcomb. You know he delivers. He uh, he took some of my money on that burnout the other day. So, um, you know, if he says he can do something, he can do it. So, yeah, we, we got, got some... a few more cars. We're going to do some burnouts, too. <laughs> we got a 70 Corvette. When I get it back, we'll do some burnouts. And a 79 10th anniversary Trans Am. And maybe a 88 IROC Z with just a few miles on it. I can't wait to see them. Brother, I appreciate you for taking the time and showing me what you show me, Steve. All right, Scotty. Thanks. Have a good day. Folks, there you go. That's uh, building a custom seat out here. That's how uh, Mr. Holcomb does it. That's, uh, you know, like I said, it's not just a seat, seat cover he puts over the top of it. He actually gets there and changes the frame, the, the you know, dimensions. And the, so it, you'll see it when it's done. You'll see that, you know, all, all this hard work has paid off. So, anyways, hope you all have enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.